Hello everyone again, welcome to another Fusion 360 video tutorial. In this video we're going to continue our construct tab and we should be able to go all the way through it because there's not a whole lot to the rest of these. So, as we can see we left off on our plane long path, we're going to go into our axis through cylinder and cone and torus. So basically when you select this, if you want to have a, a cylinder or anything of the likes that is circular, what you would do is you hover your cursor over and you would click and as you can see it will put a an axis that will run completely in the center of your cylinder so then you can build off of it or whatever need for it you might have you can do this to basically put a an axis to the center of it Next we have in our construct tab, we have our axis perpendicular at point. So basically when you select this, you want to hover your cursor over a flat face. I believe this should work on any flat face. Wherever you hover your cursor and you click, it's going to put an axis through there. As you can see, I already made one. You hit OK and you have an axis there. You can also click, if you didn't want it there, you can go over here, click. Wherever you have your cursor is where it's going to put a an axis through it. We go over to our axis through two planes. Basically, all you really need to do is select two planes that are uh, butted up next to each other, and it will run an axis through that edge that where they intersect. Uh, the other ones uh, are pretty much mm, the same. Uh, so we do axis through two points. Instead of the faces, you will do corners where your points are. So if we click here and we click here, it will also run it this way as well, but if we do it here and here, it will run an axis up, up, up uh, on this edge like is shown here. Next we have axis through an edge. Basically you click any edge that you want. Let's say this one, it will now put an axis through this edge here. So as you can see, there's a lot of different ways you can go about it. It's just basically doing the same thing, just different way axis perpendicular to face at point. So basically what this will do is you want to click a face, so we'll click on this one, and now you want to click a point. So we'll do this one here. And as you can see, as it said, a uh, axis, what was it? Uh, axis perpendicular, perpendicular to face at point. So it is running perpendicular to this face that we selected along this point here. Uh, also you can use, uh, you can go ahead and make your own points. It doesn't have to be an edge, and you can run an axis through it that way if you need to. Moving on, point at vertex. We're going to go to our points. Point at vertex basically is how it sounds. You want to go to an edge, click it, hit OK. Now you have a point that you can build with or have a uh, build off point point through two edges basically you have an edge here you have an edge here it's going to place it there it's going to be the same thing if you put it, uh, highlight this edge and then this edge it's going to put it there also uh, point through three planes so we're going to select three so we've got one two and three and as you can see it's going to intersect at all three points and it's going to put a point right there pretty easy point at center of circle sphere torus. Okay, so this one we're gonna have to, we're gonna go ahead and delete this axis. Point center of circle sphere torus. So as you can see, uh, once I hover my cursor over this circular cylinder here, if I were to click it, it's going to put a point directly in the center of this object here. You can use it for many things in your, your builds and designs. Next one is point at edge and plane. So this would be our edge, whichever edge we want. So we're gonna put this one and we want to select our plane. So we'll just go ahead and select this one. And you hit okay and you have a point right there. Point along path, let's say you have a uh, let's see here, a spline that has been made into a pipe, and as you can see there is a line here that goes along this path. We can go to our construct, point along path, go to our uh, path here, put it wherever we want, hit OK, and as you can see we have a point made where we wanted it 
on our path here. So basically that is it. Those are very simple to use. They're pretty straightforward. Uh, they kind of just talk about what they do and you just kind of have to follow along. That's it for this video. We're going to continue on in another department. I'm not sure what that is yet, but hopefully you guys stick around. Hopefully this is helpful. If it was, please like, share, comment, subscribe. And uh, as always, guys, until next time, stay creative. Bye.